Right, so I'm going to try and make this quite a fast sort of tutorial. I'm going to talk in this one, although I haven't in the past few weeks. Um, I'm getting ready to go to work and I've got a couple of meetings to go to this afternoon. So I want to do a blue eye, but I want to make this wearable for work, something um, that is colourful and bright because uh, I always feel that's something I can get away with with my hair. Um, but I just think I can kind of <laughs> pull it off. Um, with the job that I'm currently doing as well, but nothing too wild. So I'm using this um, Maybelline colour tattoo just to give a bright sort of base. This is just a nice sort of shimmery white. And I will list um, products that I'm using in the information bar below. Look at that. Now vanish is all separate. This is the Me 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 one from the Glossy Box. I love this colour. So this doesn't have to be too neat. This is just a nice little base for um, my powder shadows to stick to. And I'm just going to grab a little tray. So I used the stack and boxes in my drawers to put my makeup on to organise the drawers and then I just use the lids as little trays. They're great if you're doing your favourites or if you're doing a haul you can just kind of stick all your products together. So I'll do that and then I can know what I've used a bit better. So so as you can see it's not made a huge difference um, particularly but now I'm going to go on and use some other shadows. Did this come yesterday? Yes. Can you put the box there? Where was the box? You left it on the table in your rush to open it, no doubt. <laughs> this colour here. And that's this sort of here. And I'm just going to pop that on the inner eye area. Oh! Please excuse Alex singing in the background and choice of song. <laughs> Obviously in a very confident mood this morning. <laughs> Absolutely full of myself. Teeny blue colour on the outer edge. I just want to take that colour into that other lighter colour. And then just get a soft sort of fluffy brush. And I'm just going to take the lighter colour there and I'm just going to swish it across the edge and just soften those lines a little bit. Is it so fun? bit of this. That is a true sort of blue. And I'm actually just going to put that up here on the edge, on the outer corner of the eye. And blend it across. Oh, I think that's definitely a better idea than the other colour. Unsure what to do with the lower eye area. Love the shadow though. Gorgeous, love those blues. I think I want to go for black underneath to be honest. I was going to go for blue, but I think I'll go for a black and then put a little bit of a flash of a blue liner underneath it. And just going to put that on the waterline. Oh, 
all the way across but very gently on the inner eye. I don't want it to be like really super duper thick. Okay, and then I'm going to take a gosh liner in. Oh, I can't read that. <laughs> I'll put that in the um, information part below. It's a really, really nice colour though. Oh, it's very like my nails. And I'm just going to bring that underneath the black. And I'm actually going to run it all the way along, but not too, like, quite a thin line of it when you get further along. Definitely more of a focus on the outer eye area. And that's it really. Just gonna now put some mascara on. Of course I'm using my favourite. Oh look, I got this new jar from Asda. It's the three pound. Really thick frosted glass and it's got blue flowers on. I've got all my blue liners in there, my white ones. So I love that, I like how it looks. As you know, they're my favourite colours. So. Right, so favourite mascara, Bourjois Volume Fast and Perfect, Papa Don't Peach by Too Faced today. Gonna go for lights compared. The sound of your husband's tooth rattling in his pocket. So sexy. <laughs> so just a peachy coral lipstick to finish it off, and that is it. That's me, and I'm now gonna put my dress on and off we go.